Oh, hello. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I'm MJ. I'm the founder of Alta Love. And we're going to shuffle the cards so that we can get a little uh, vibe check on the day today. My intention with Tarot is to connect with you uh, and offer divine guidance and loving clarity. These are general readings, so take what resonates, leave the rest. I mean, in all aspects of life, I think, take what resonates, leave the rest. You know, use your discernment. It's it's a mind field out there, isn't it? So we're we're getting right into it divine guidance i mean that fell in the reverse so let's let's take that into consideration i'll continue to pull a few more cards divine guidance and loving clarity i hope you i it's tuesday it's october 29th it's all halloween apparently there's some really spooky astrological placements as well so uh you know stay safe out there look after yourselves Um, okie dokie, the magician. Uh, remember we pulled it in the reverse. I, I flicked it round, uh, but I, I, I'm going to look at those other cards uh, because I, I feel like some of us might be feeling disempowered. We might be feeling like, oh my God, <laughs> what have I done? Or there's a lot of doubt coming in today. Uh, may, 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 bear in mind that often is the case what we're experiencing in our mental, emotional, physical body our aspects of our conditioning, aspects, belief systems, and uh, truly, in a sense, aspects of our past, right, of our history. And so in the here now, we, we always have the ability to hold space, you know, to not react, to shift our perspective, to look at things from a different lens. Five of Pentacles is a shitty card. <laughs> Sorry, this part in my French. Five of Pentacles is like the Nine of Swords or the Five of Cups. You know, they're they're difficult. They're challenging. This is like, I'm hearing homelessness, but like the potential of fe feeling left out, feeling rejected, being rejected, being, pardon me, being left out, right? Um. This is brutal. Sorry, guys. This is like heartbreak energy. Um, cutting our losses in a situation. Um, and that's why, right? Like, so so if I were to take this in the reverse, uh, or rather like this, there's, that's part of it, is like past wounding that inhibits us from moving forward. Um you know, being heartbroken in the past, trying to move forward and not being able to trust again. Um, so there's a decision we have to make. Nice. Ten of Pentacles. There's a decision you want to make here about, um, honestly, it feels like there's healing uh, with the temperance energy, like healing that needs to happen. There could also be a bit like a message come through or maybe like an inspired idea. Some something, some idea that comes that that comes in your mind or somebody brings you an idea that may be a potential for a business uh business venture. Uh, there is a focus on the pentacle. There's definitely a focus on establishing new foundations, but it's not necessarily like obvious or easy. Um, Because you're dealing with this five of pentacle energy. You're dealing with feeling left out in the cold, right? You're dealing <laughs> with uh, feeling rejected, incredibly like doubtful, based in like hurtful situations from our past where we might have been uh, you know, betrayed. We might have had people stealing from us. Nine of Cups is, is a good luck card, but it's in the reverse. So again, we might be feeling forlorn, unlucky. Woe is me. Why, why does this keep happening to me? I think the decision is like to take a new new beginning and to probably just focus on yourself for a bit. 
Um, really, this is like the new beginning energy. This is having to take new ideas, new thought form, and move with them. I, some of you, this this energy today is like feeling stuck, um, feeling really limited. However, there is a choice, right? Like there's a choice to be made. Some of you, it's like choosing to move forward with an idea that you have maybe for business moving forward and then aligning yourself. King of Wands would be Aries, Sag, Leo, Fire Sign. Work, putting the work in and moving toward this King of Wands energy or putting the work in to establish yourself as this King or Queen of Wands, as this fiery, risk-taking, uh, magnetic type of character instead of choosing the the forlorn and woe is me and life never works out for me energy like or full of doubt full of um i'm hearing mystery for some reason but i don't well magician mystery um full of doubt there only this little cluster with the the harf and, and the seven of swords feels a little bit of like brewing like you know, when we're maybe unconsciously just like stewing on something that happened, that person, how could they be such a fucking dick? You know, it's like, oh, pardon my French, my lovers. <laughs> um, you know, like if we're just going round and round over something, somebody that done us dirty, somebody that lied to us or, but again, these are past situations. They're in the reverse and they're, they're kind of in the mix with you not believing that you can do what you want to do. You not believing that you can establish the foundation. You going over the things that happened in the past that were incredibly hurtful and painful. Um, and not taking the appropriate time to heal. Not taking the appropriate time to um, find your light again. Shazam. Oh my gosh, I don't know why or how or what, but the Three of Swords has come up again. This is like major healing, heart healing, um, Three of Pentacles, also the reverse again. Okay, some of you guys could be moving after, after a heartbreak situation, like moving or having to move, like as in hubby's having an affair and so you're leaving kind of thing uh or vice versa the the foundations that you've built have been like uprooted that's the vibratory three of pentacle reverse we're not those foundations that you were rooting are being uprooted this is difficult energy for sure this is really uh re requiring your discipline right My lovers, if this is resonating with you, if there are certain layers that are resonating with you, I would dare to say it might be really important. It could be really important to take time out, like take time out for yourself. If this is to do with a very important relationship or just the relationship with yourself, um, because it feels like resistance, like, um... Or just being in a bit of a troubled spot in the mind, right? So we're like, maybe there are some important relationships that you need to lean into. But I'm also getting the Hermit Reverse, Magician Reverse, feels like a bit of resistance to actually healing from the past. Or like, so we're going through the motions of life, but we're not taking appropriate time to really heal. And then at night, or when we're in conversation or something, we're kind of hashing out like, oh yeah, so-and-so. Like we're we're holding grievance basically. And that grievance is wanting to be healed, but we have to move forward. You have to move toward no, new ideas and maybe move toward new energy. It's a full wrapping up and a, and a kind of full moving forward, right? The, the, the foundations that you, you created, those are, those are, finito those are being flipped upside down and really you're being guided to a greater empowerment via new beginning and via i would say like a slow and steady 
a slow and steady establishing of your routine, that's going to help refine and hone your emotional field with the temperance. Move toward what lights you up, you guys. That's often the best way um, to heal and kind of evolve ourselves out of heartache and grievance. Move toward what makes you feel good. Move toward what lights you up. And at the same time, is actually fairly practical and grounded, uh, but, but still is exciting and lights you up. And, and possibly just helps you to feel more emotionally secure in yourself and in your one-on-one -on -one relationships. Uh, big transformation here, you guys. Let me know if that resonates with any of you. I'm always curious. I love reading your comments and I really, really appreciate your comments, your subscribes, your likes, your purchases. Um, I'm doing the monthly readings at the YouTube channel. So check that out. Those will be published on the 31st and the 1st of November. Patreons get ad-free first access. There's also the merchandise. There's the merchandise. Lots of stuff there. Check it out, you guys. Lots of love. Have an awesome day. I appreciate you all. Peace out.